What is going on guys? It's your buddy MLC Stealth and today we have a topic to talk about and uh, let's just get the gameplay out of the way first. I'm using a flak jacket, sled of hand, tactical mask, M16 with dual mag because I do love me some M16. It's one of my favorite guns in this game. <coughs> um, so anyways, topic that I want to talk about today is view whoring and <laughs> as most of you know uh, there was an incident that uh, just happened in Japan. I think it was overnight or maybe this morning just recently though um i think it was last night um but anyways an 8.9 magnitude earthquake uh hit japan and japan is suffering from tsunamis and just being earthquaked on and it's kind of a big deal because that is a huge earthquake and <clears throat> there are a lot of damages and i i do feel bad for all the people uh, in japan and uh there's a bunch of people like doing donations and stuff and trying to get support over there and it's all in the news and junk and uh, just because I talked about that uh, a second ago, uh, does that give me the right to uh, now in my video post tags about Japan, earthquake, 8.9 magnitude, need help, uh, stuff like that? Uh, no, it does not. Um, but anyways, recently a lot of uh, YouTubers have been uh, mistagging their videos. Uh, basically, there are a lot of YouTubers out there who, uh, <laughs> look at the map wiggling right now because I don't know why it does that. Um, but anyways, a lot of YouTubers have been uh, mis tagging their videos uh, with tsunami, earthquake, Japan, and stuff like that just so that they will get increased views on their videos. And the big one I want to talk about right now is White Boy 7th Street. Um, he's never been a big favorite YouTuber of mine and recently he made a video uh, <laughs> basically just saying hey there was an earthquake in Japan and uh, that's pretty much it. And he uh, tagged the shit out of his video and I really do mean it. Um, he put the video in non-profit, and he, he didn't put the video under gaming, which I guess he necessarily didn't have to just because he didn't post any gameplay, it was kind of just like a vlog thing, but still, he didn't post it under people and vlogs like he should have, and, uh, he made the tags, he, like, I'll link you guys the video, he tagged the crap out of it, like anything Japan, so, that video is going to, uh, get Japan earthquake views over, like, an actual news video that should be getting views. Um, so, I think it's kind of ridiculous that, and he's telling people to like and favorite the video so, uh, uh, people can be helped in Japan, and that is a ridiculous statement to make. Um, he's saying that if people like the video, then more people will know about this incident that's going on in Japan, but that, that's ridiculous. Really telling people to like and favorite your video is one thing, but telling them to like and favorite your video over this Japan deal, that's, that's kind of ridiculous. He's, he's using this situation to, uh... Uh, self gain himself and to try to get more views and subscribers and top favorite slot and more likes on his videos just over this whole Japan thing and that's that's a little stupid. I've a uh, I, I I have YouTubers backing me up too. I know uh, I opponent star for hire agrees with me and SAS Raptor and Pyro Puncher. You guys probably don't know SAS Raptor or SAS Raptor. I reptilian reviews. I don't know what is what he goes by, but he's a friend of mine, and Pyro Puncher agrees, <laughs> he's made a lot of tweets and um, other stuff about that, but basically this is just all a little bit ridiculous, uh, how some YouTubers feel about, about views, and just basically white boy, that's kind of ridiculous of him, I've never been a fan of him, because I know that he attention whores, um, he, <laughs> his, his videos are all caps lock, and that's just retarded, and uh, like, the titles of his videos are in all caps, and I I really think that's just crying out for attention, and uh, his thumbnails, too. He makes thumbnails with the Call of Duty background, and <laughs> the thumbnail is in all caps as well, and really, like, you need to all caps your stuff and make inappropriate tags that are crying for views and stuff. I don't know, I just find that a little bit ridiculous, and on another note, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of YouTubers like him, and also Xtraws. Um, who, uh, it, there's a lot of them too, I don't really feel like naming them all because I don't know all of them, but a lot of people do this, uh, they do giveaways and they're like, the only way you're gonna, and if you don't know what a giveaway is, you probably should, <laughs> it's where I would say, hey, I'm giving away a Microsoft point card because I want to give back to my subscribers, which speaking of, I'm probably gonna do a giveaway pretty soon, um, but anyways, there's a lot of people doing giveaways, uh, who say, uh, the only way you can win is if you like and favorite this video, and if you don't favorite and like it, then uh, I will look on your channel and you're not going to win the prize. And that is ridiculous. I'm going to also link a uh, Freddy 
W video in this uh, video, and he basically like nails it on the dot with uh, favorites and stuff like that. But basically, it's cheating the system. Um, if you force people, like, favorites are not supposed to be forced. They're not supposed to be, hey, you must favorite this video to uh, have a chance at winning this giveaway. Favorites are supposed to be, hey, do you actually like the video? Then favorite it if you want, but you don't have to to <laughs> win this giveaway thing. Um, but basically, uh, favoriting is cheating the system, or forcing people to favorite your videos is cheating the system. Because um, it gets people so many, so many views. Uh, a, giveaway, a giveaway is supposed to be for you guys, and like that's why I'm going to do a giveaway pretty soon. Uh, not sure on the details yet, but I know I will. Um, a giveaway is supposed to be, hey... Uh, I'm gonna give back to you guys, but a lot of people like White Boy and Extras. Um, a giveaway is actually helping them more than it's helping you, cause um, they tell a lot of people about the giveaway, and they're like, "Hey, giveaway on my channel," and then um, it gets to the point where they like like and favorite the video, and they get so many likes and favorites on the videos because they're forcing you to like and favorite uh, the video to actually just like win something, and. Uh, Basically, they're just paying like a 1600 Microsoft point card to get top favorite slot, and with that top favorite slot, they're getting so many more views, and they're probably even making more money than they're spending on the giveaway, just because that's how uh, YouTube views work. Um, but basically, you should not be forcing favorites uh, to get that top favorite slot. Um, it's that's not how it's not how uh, giveaways work or favorites. That's not how the favorite system should work. Um, but anyways, that's just my little rant on the uh, subject of view whoring. Uh, people care more about views these days than anything else. They care more about money. Money is what drives the YouTube uh, community, unfortunately. And not a, not a lot of people are aware about it, but people asking for likes and for favorites is just getting a little silly. So uh, since my, my viewpoint is this, I'm basically not going to be asking for likes and favorites that much. Um, if you guys want to like the video, then that's, that's fine. But I'm not going to force you ever to like a video because... That's a little silly. I remember in the past, Xtraz did a thing where he said, uh, to see the next video, this video must get, like, 4,000 likes. And that's that's not how uh, the whole YouTube thing should work. I'm doing this for you guys. I I don't need you guys to like the crap out of my video and get 4,000 likes before you see the next video. That's not how YouTube should work, and I'm kind of upset that uh, it's gotten to that way. Um, money is not what should be uh, drives people to do things. Unfortunately, it is. So I guess we're going to have to live with that way. Um, but anyways, sorry about the rant, guys. Uh, <laughs> I, I just had a lot on my mind, and uh, this whole YouTube community is driven uh, in the wrong... They have the wrong mindset. And it's basically the bigger guys, and it's kind of dumb how the uh, big guys like that, like, requesting for so many likes and favorites on their videos, uh, it, it's kind of like, I'm never going to get a chance, really, of... Uh, getting big these days just because those guys are getting so much publicity and they just blow me out of the water and it's no fun but uh, that's how it works these days the wealthy get wealthier and not much I can do about it uh, except sit here and make a video to my 1700 subscribers about it um, but anyways I got a lot of people agreeing with me on this subject so I don't I don't <laughs> Uh, that's basically gonna be the end of the video. I went 33 and 4, and I'll see you guys later.